playing Stray Gods Orpheus DLC. Let's go. You're taking a rather long time to make your move, old friend. One would almost think you're lingering. Perhaps to keep the game going as long as possible. Aha! I knew it. You invited me here to play so you could riddle me with questions. I see right through you, Boatman. You're kind to be concerned, but everything is fine. It's fine! It's fine! All right, maybe it's not fine. What's wrong? That is an excellent question. I, well, if I think about it, old friend, I have to say I'm feeling a little lost. N no, I, I don't mean I need directions. I know very well where the throne room is. Thank you. The thing is, after Persephone took back her throne, I gave up. I left with all the other shades. One by one, they all faded away into oblivion. Even Benny. But not me. I expected it. I wanted it. Yet, I remain. Why is that? I thought life was really over And I was ready to meet the end To leave behind a world of suffering To make love to oblivion 
But I stand here now, corrected, left with nothing and no one. I have somehow been rejected, and I don't know what I've done wrong. What now? And who now? Where do I belong? Thought I'd live my destiny, but is there one more song? Beyond this point lies mystery. I'm not sure what is meant for me, but I will make of it a song. One more song. Hi. You know, this isn't normally my kind of thing. I go for the heavy beats. But it's nice. Have we met? Mm, I mean, probably a long time ago. When you died. I would have been someone else, though. Ah, then you're Hermes. And you're Orpheus. Persephone once told me I should stay clear of you, but... Yeah, a lot has changed lately. You say Persephone told you to stay clear? Hence why we've never met, I assume? Uh-huh. I mean, I met some of the Shades. Oh, they were so nice. I miss Benny. Yeah. All gone, I'm afraid. Except for me. But hey, things are different now. I can do whatever I want. And so can you. I can. I can do whatever I want. Hell yeah! <laughs> That's a pun, I think. I hate to say it, but you don't look like any of the depictions of Hermes I'm familiar with. Granted, they were all statues, but they certainly weren't dressed as you are. <laughs> you mean like in a toga and stuff? <laughs> Persephone was greatly changed in the same way, but even so, I still knew it was her. Deep down, I'm still Hermes. But I'm also me. You... Uh, you just get used to it. Just how are things in the living world? We don't hear much down here. Oh, man, where do I even start? Well, the idols aren't in hiding anymore, for starters. You were in hiding? Yeah, yeah. The chorus is gone, and, uh, and I started streaming. I'm an influencer now. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And none of those words mean anything to me. Well, it's really exciting. Uh, I'm assuming that's what you were asking about, I guess. Well, anyhow, uh, was there something specific you wanted? Well, I heard you singing. Not, like, intentionally, but I just thought, I can help. Maybe what you need is to get away. Maybe I can bring you up to the mortal world? You can do that? Yeah, it's a, you know, a psychopope thing. Do you mean psychopomp? Could be. So cool, right?
are these towers? Do people live there? So many lamps. There's light everywhere. Such a magnificent sculpture. Is this for a god? Was this city built over a volcano? How odd. Perhaps this isn't the end. There's so much to explore. My lips, they tremble. My hands, they shake. There's a whole new world in store. What now? And who now? Where will I belong? I thought I'd lived my destiny, but we're riding. But I suppose I must go home Back to being terribly alone Hmm... I suppose it's time to return, isn't it? Sure, if that's what you want. Well, I'm dead, am I not? Surely there's no choice in the matter. Uh, you left the underworld before, right? Long time ago? That means you can again. That's the rule. So, all these centuries, I could have returned? At any time? You'd have to find a gate and get past Caron and Cerberus. Not that either of them are really into their jobs lately, but yeah. Wait, how do you even know this? I told you it's a psycho. Psycho Pope thing, yes, I recall. It makes one wonder why Lord Hades granted me the right in the first place. I mean, naturally my music is beyond compare, but... I don't know. Maybe he thought it would be funny. That seems very likely, in fact. I am such a fool. All those long, long years spent waiting for vengeance. Wasted. Oh, hey, hey. It's okay, bud. Look on the bright side. You're here now. I am. But to do what? To live. Uh, to hang out. I mean, I, I know a great place for slushies. They'll even let you mix the sodas if you like that. I got it! Why don't you start a new story? A new story? Yes! A new story! You ask what you do when your story's over. You write a new one! Here! What's your interest in this, Idol? You know next to nothing about me. I heard you sing. That's hardly the same thing. Isn't it? Grace made Athena give up through the power of a song. Corny, I guess. But songs show what's inside your heart. And how many times do you get to see what's inside someone's heart? If that doesn't make you know them, I mean, what does? I suppose you have me there. You said here. Where is that exactly? Is this Thrace? Halas? No. Uh, we're a long, long way from those kinds of places. Where then? Mesopotamia? Surely not. <laughs> Buddy, it's a part of the world your people didn't even know about back then. But that's even better. You get to discover it for yourself. Hmm, I don't know. It looks quite thoroughly discovered. Not by you. 
You'll get to try everything for the first time. There's gotta be something you like. Right? You're very strange, Hermes of the Idols. I have to say, I don't quite know what to make of you. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Stories of the gods and everyone I've personally met led me to believe you were all... Hmm. Fickle. Vain. Damaged goods, even. Oh, no, no. That's still a thing, mostly. But not you. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to live like the old Hermes told me to. Life should be better, and not just for me. A rather novel concept. Well, I don't know if you're aware, but my story was the stuff of true legend. I wrote songs that defined our world. I had a love, the envy of all others. Even my death was the thing of spectacle. Which reminds me, are the main ads still about? They made my disembodied head sing for quite a long time. Most uncomfortable. Uh, I don't think so. The point is, a masterpiece is no easy thing to follow. Surely that holds true even today. I get it. Sequels do kind of suck sometimes. But not always. You gotta try. Dare I ask what a sequel is? It's when a movie follows up on the last one. Just some of them go on for a really long time. And a movie is? Ooh. Ooh. Ah, uh, there's a lot you're gonna have to learn. I bet you don't even have a phone. A wager you would win, I assure you. How do you live? Oh, man, we're gonna have to get you one. <gasps> I could be your first text. All right, Hermes, consider me intrigued. How should I begin this grand new tale you propose? Yes. I was thinking I could show you around the mortal world a bit first. Show you how everything's... No! No, 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 that sounds like it would take forever. You have a whole lifetime, right? I've had a dozen lifetimes, thank you, and I'm quite done with that. No. I fear the time for patience has passed. <laughs> okay! What do you want to start with, then? Imagine. You are about to read a magnificent modern tale. At its core, its very essence is... Mmm... action? Hmm... I do cut a heroic figure, it's true, but I'm actually rather shit with the sword. Good dialogue, Ben. One can hardly talk their way into a new legend, can they? I, I don't know. Romance, maybe? Ah, yes, the old tales are full of your conquests from Perseus to Penelope to even the beautiful Aphrodite. What? Aphrodite? No, no way. It's an excellent point. I do yet ache for Eurydice, but perhaps it is time, yes? Tell me, young Hermes, what is the fastest way to find love in this modern world? Love? Like, real love? Uh, oh, man, um... I guess there's... that? Is speed dating still a thing? Speed. Dating. And we'll go down in 
history once more a true love i'll find it tonight i'll find a great love the way i found you to see and i'll find it too prefer if it were just you and me. Do you know how many followers I have? No. Three. And tell me, obvious. What is your vibe? What is vibe? Like, what is your vibe? Yeah, I mean, um, what does vibe mean? You like vibe? No, I don't know vibe. How old are you? What a shame. You really shouldn't be allowed to do that. Don't they filter these people? Still looking for new love and we'll go down in history. And I mean in books and not that internet. I'll find a true love and it'll soothe me like a bomb. I guess next time's the charm. Are you ready to give all your love? to love you of course i want to love you like i love darren who's darren oh so you want to talk about darren he's the best ex-boyfriend that i ever had he would have been a good husband could have been a good dad but he left me because i loved a little too much we went on one day and then i never heard from him again <laughs> crazy right Vanessa. My name's Sharon. I just don't think this will work. It's not part of my plan. I can't be your new Darren. Be a new Darren. You will never be Darren. I don't want to be Darren. Oh, Darren! Darren! This is the great guy. I just want to be with Darren. Darren! I'm going to stand outside his house. Goodbye. and has some serious issues. Godspeed to them. Time for Orpheus to forge on and find greener, less derogated pastures. I'll find a new love and Darren won't be part of it, no. A truly great love, it's us against the world. There must be someone around you who is wise to it. I'm the most precious person. Your face, it reminds me of someone familiar, like someone I used to know. A face that belonged to a terrible monster, a snake-headed gorgon who feasts on men's organs. A creature to pity, but still kind of pretty. What I'm trying to say is in a snake-headed way. I meant it as a compliment. That was a compliment. Okay, shake it off, Orpheus. It's only a matter of time till you find the one. I'll find a new love and they'll accept my compliments. Once more a true love, they'll compliment me back. I'll find a great love who has the taste for eloquence. Time for another crack. Why don't you tell me your favorite thing? I'm sure that it's dull and immensely boring. Oh, it's so niche, I'm not sure that you'll care. Well, I shall humor you. Go on, take me there. History. Ancient Greek history, 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 ancient Greek history, history, history. Do you like the story? Yes. Of glory? Yes. Of gods giving power to men? Yes. And heroes with liars? Yes. Whose music inspires? Yes. My favorite, of course, he is. He has to be. Has to be. 
Apollo. This is all wrong. You are all wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. The golden liar is mine for me. Yours. Because the students had surpassed the teacher. I could forgive pride. I would forgive anger. I'd even forgive malice and greed. But there's one transgression that I won't concede. Your favorite must be me. I bet I'd be everyone's favorite if I had a Sony Sun Chariot. But come on, Apollo? I'll find a new love, the type to bring to family, and not be scared that they're obsessed with my dad. I'll find a great love and everyone will speak of the greatest love the world's ever had. Got no problems, got no problems. just got bank, making that money, money. savvy young blank. Um, Take right. you to the Shangri-La, buy you a bucket of caviar. Let me show you what that money can do. Take you to a zoo by a kangaroo. The best things in life are free, but I've got a solid gold me. You would be good with me because I am good with money, and I would be good with you because I assume that you like money too. What's the point in sitting upon a golden throne? If at the end of all your life you're sitting alone, what's the point in buying a costly meal for two? If in the end the only one eating it is you, what's the point in forging a tiny statue man without enough? statue to hold his tiny statue hand I will not be there money's only good for the good that it can do so your money is no good it's a lesson we must all learn I suppose more a true love to give my life to a rich or a poor love one that can explain to me what is a kangaroo what's the point in trying no one seems to work and what if i'm lying to myself there's still a few left, could my love be there too? And if I walk away, do I walk away from you? My one shot at finding my new love. Sorry everyone, I can't say it's been fun Just know that none of you hurt me And I know I'll forget you all one by one I'll admit there's one thing I won't forget It's not the things that I've said And not the people I've met Try as hard as I may will stay with me until my final day The sound of that bell I hate that bell Telling me I'm not in love And I never will be I hate that bell I want to start I want to You need to leave. Give me the bell back. It's had enough. Yeah, now that was a banger. <laughs> um, everything okay there? It didn't work out, but we're on the right track, yeah?
Oh, sweet innocent Hermes, how much do you know of love? The kind that moves mountains. I had a friend once. I mean, I thought they were more than a friend, but... Well, turns out they didn't really see me for me. It's hard, you know? Finding that one person who you'll fit with? Forever? Wise words. Eurydice was such a one for me, but... Perhaps it is not such a simple thing to replicate. Wow. Uh, time to try the next place mortals like to meet, I guess. This is gonna be difficult, isn't it? Lead on, my friend. Um, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, okay? Hmm. but a common watering hole for the desperate and forlorn, of which, yes, I'll admit it, I am currently one. A temporary situation, easily remedied in the traditional manner. The locals call it beer. May I? By all means, taverns such as this are best enjoyed with company. I've always felt that way, yes. <laughs> We've met before, a long, long time ago. You prayed to me to grant you a young woman's heart. I looked uh, <laughs> a little different back then. <gasps> you are Eros. I have to admit, this seedy hole is an odd place to run into the god of sex. Or, hmm, maybe not actually. Definitely not. I was brought here, however, by a mutual friend. Ah, yes, that does make more sense. Well, they thought I might be of use to you. For a little chat, if you're game. Hmm. My memory of our encounter is a little vague, but do you not carry a magnificent bow? Did I still have that when we met? Oh, yes. Made of ivory, it looked like, and so intricately carved. I always wondered if it was meant as a weapon, or... Or if my arrows truly pierced the hearts of mortal men, causing them to fall in love. <laughs> oh, it was a weapon. The arrow thing was a joke that Dionysus made, which got out of hand. Mortal authorities frown on weapons now, so I put the bow in storage around the turn of the century. I, uh, <laughs> honestly forgot where. I have to ask, are all the idols still about? The glorious Aphrodite, is she... Still here, if a bit worse for the wear. Better lately, if I'm honest. She always did enjoy having worshippers. <laughs> I remember her temple at Aphrodisius. So beautiful. Many of the other names you'd remember are dead now. For good. 
There are only a few idols left these days. I'm sorry to hear that, Lord Eros. I've always thought it was just the way things were meant to be. You know, times change, gods fade away. Since we revealed ourselves to the mortal world, however, I wonder if that's still true. I suppose we'll see. So, do you like this modern world, Master Eros? I find it utterly fascinating, but I did only arrive today. <laughs> it has its perks, but I miss how people were in the olden days. They used to be more open to wonder, to possibilities. The world was so large, now it's become so small. Surely the world has not changed size. Aristotle would be scandalized. I just mean that no one pays any attention to discovery any longer. It's so commonplace, it, it's become mundane. Ah, pay no attention to me. You've several millennia of wonders to catch up on. I envy you. I assume you didn't come here solely to chat, Lord Eros. You have something to say about my quest? I do, yes. Directions to a worthy love, perhaps? You answered my prayers once, after all. Will you do so again? That's the thing, Orpheus. I never did answer your prayers. But you came to me. Eurydice, she... Fell in love with you. Without any help from me or any other idol. And you come to me with this revelation now? For what possible reason? Because Hermes told me about your quest, and I thought it was time you heard the truth. Your love for Eurydice was never my doing. I couldn't summon something so powerful, even if I wished to. Not even back then. But then why did... I was a jerk back then. We all were. I thought you were arrogant, daring to ask for a love I felt you didn't deserve. So I told you what you wanted to hear. I expected you to fall flat on your face. But you didn't, did you? Eurydice said yes. True love found you anyway. The kind of love you seek can't be bargained for, Orpheus. There are no shortcuts. Open up your heart again So let me tell you what I know The quicker that you try to fall in love The slower it will go A single glance will set your world aflame A spark it can ignite a blaze Why is it that I never feel warm? There are so many ways to burn How can I not know this by now. Take your bow and arrow. You must aim for the moon. One chance in a million, then it's gone too soon. Take your Pray your aim is true. But when should you fire? I wish I knew. Wait, did you say you were a god of love? I must admit, I couldn't tell. Is this really what you call advice? If finding love is so much hell, what hope can there be? I know enough to know I know nothing, but here's what you can do. Take your bow and arrow and cast it aside. Instead, 
so take my bow and arrow Hide it away For some other day So, time for Plan C, I guess? Mm, no, my friend. Lord Eros is correct. My search for a new love is futile. Well, I don't know about futile. <laughs> I mean, maybe you just need to... Hmm. Oh. Uh. Hey, big guy. Where to next? If you're not, you know, looking for love, what do you want to do? Perhaps I could prevail upon you, young Master Hermes, to give an old bard some advice. Oh, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 uh, you want my advice? Why not? Despite your appearance, you are an idol with experience that spans many ages, no? Uh, technically, yeah. It's just that, you know, Apollo always says I make interesting choices. And I don't think he means good interesting. Hey, 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 we can figure it out. We have, like, at least one whole brain between us, right? Oh, I know. Okay, so what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what about being fooled by the gods and then waiting thousands of years in the lonely underworld to exact my revenge? Yes, perfect. You could write a song about that. No, really. Work on a song and it'll get your creative juices flowing, you know? I, when I'm making a new video, I... It's Hermes. Oh, <laughs> Oh, hi. Uh, uh, not all at once, please. That's my shirt! <laughs> that tickles. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, one selfie, all right? Just one. Okay, maybe one more. Okay, okay. That's fine. Good. <laughs> uh, sorry, my fans gonna be a I little... Fame. A return to fame shall be my purpose. Tell them, Master Hermes. Tell them that the Bard of Ages has returned. Tell them he shall play to the crowds once again. Okay. Tell them that Orpheus's Back from the Dead tour has begun! Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, how about... One last song. Here's something a little more personal.
like above the ground, my guitar unwound. I was haunted, hounded, hollowed, waiting my life away. But I felt this burn. I would soon return, and the queen would learn what followed. All that time above, now I'd see my love, and I soon enough was swallowed down. And then despair, for they weren't there. Self-made prison Hmm. Hey, hey, now that was awesome! Again? Oh, man. It was indeed a thing of all. And just as I remember, crowds chanting my name, music that thrilled the soul, my every sense of fire until the moment the curtain fell. And? And that's the thing. It's exactly as I remember. I have already taken this path. Hermes, I... I do not need to take it again. I know it's 
inconceivable to consider, but have I lost my touch? Has Orpheus, bard of legend and minstrel to the gods themselves, become impotent? If so, I know a guy who has pills for that. Perhaps the fates have simply decreed that a mortal man may only touch the sun once, if he dares at all. You said it yourself. A sequel is never as good as the original. Lucky for you, I figured this might happen. Come on! Go? Go where? There's nowhere for me to go, Hermes, and... Nothing for me left to do. <laughs> yeah, there is. Come on, old timer. She's not going to wait around all night. Snowing. It's a lovely view. But why have you brought me all the way up here? To meet me, I think. Goodness me, if it isn't Grace, last of the muses. Or is that still the case? The news in the underworld is rather hard to come by. Nope, just a regular mortal again. I didn't realize such a thing was even possible. You continue to surprise, it seems. Well, you've got a surprise or two left yourself. This whole back from the dead thing, for instance, that requires a huge sacrifice, doesn't it? A price I paid long ago, or so Master Hermes recently informed me. Not that mortal life has brought me any solace. Yeah, Hermes said you were feeling a bit lost. They thought that maybe I could help. And why is that? From all accounts, you stormed through the lives of the idols like a hurricane and have come out on the other end on top. Sure, maybe, but before all that, I was lost as hell. Even before I became an idol. Hmm. All right, then. I haven't many other options, I suppose, so let's see where this goes, shall we? Nice view. Wonders beyond imagining. Once I would have sworn only gods could live in such a place. So, uh... I'm not really sure where to begin with this. Tell me what you've been up to since we met. Persephone must have been hungry for vengeance, I imagine. Not so much, actually. We've all moved on. She forgave you? Astounding. But the original question still stands. Mostly I was in charge of reintroducing the idols to the mortal world. Interviews, talking to world leaders, it was a whole thing. Was. The effort is complete, then? I guess... <sighs> I thought it would shake the entire world. Even the idols did. I mean, finding out the gods of the ancient world were real. But everyone, I don't know, got used to the idea. Really quickly. Or, or they just thought it was a big conspiracy. They all kind of moved on. So there's not much for me to do anymore. I guess you could say I'm kind of between gigs now.
How much do you know about me? Other than, of course, our delightful first meeting back in the underworld? Um, uh, mm -hmm. I, I know you wanted revenge on Persephone for helping Hades trick you. More or less, it was my own fault looking back at Eurydice, but then again, they both knew I would. Who could not? And I know you were quite a musician back in the day. The equal of any muse and possibly better. That's quite the compliment. Persephone said it, not me. Ooh, an even greater compliment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't get too full of yourself, Mr. Bard of the Ages. <sighs> That's all I really know. I have to ask, did you come to the concert tonight? Of course. I heard the Orpheus was appearing in concert. Who wouldn't want to go to that? <laughs> I mean, it was... it was incredible. The control you have when you play your instruments. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible for a harp to rock. Oh, stop, stop. No, don't stop. I want to hear some more. Shut up. You know how good you are. Yes, I suppose that's part of the problem. I mastered my craft. I had my cheering crowds. None of this is new. It doesn't matter that everything's changed. There are instruments, heck, countries, that you've never even heard of. True, but how different would it all be, really? No, I fear tonight was my last concert in the modern world. Forgive me the observation, but it appears that you're at something of a crossroads of your own. I guess I am, yeah. No romance, then? No love of the ages to keep you occupied as you decide what to do next? There's Freddy. <laughs> you know, the one I came to the underworld to rescue? She's the muse now. Ah, oh, I see. Muse and former muse in love. Is that not awkward? No. Oh. It's great. She loves it. I, I just... I want more than to be a part of her adventures, though. And I, I know she wants that for me, too. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you and I are kind of in the same boat. With one major difference, I lived my mortal life. You have yet to live yours. There is that. Still... You're probably as close as I'm going to get to someone who will know what I'm going through. So you coming here tonight was not entirely for my benefit? <laughs> not to fear, Grace. I'll keep your secret. So, if you know so little about me, Grace, why are you so eager to help? <laughs> well... I felt a little bad after what happened. Keeping me from a vengeance that I'd waited thousands of years to enact? Yeah. Truth be told, the vengeance was hollow. I welcomed Oblivion. But it appears that Oblivion was not ready to welcome me. Nevertheless, it's not your fault. You've no obligation to aid me. You must know that. Sure. But if I can help... Shouldn't I at least try? I suspect most would answer that question with a no, but it appears you're not most people, are you? So, here we are, Grace. How do we decide what to do next? Tell me honestly, what made you want to come back? I assumed my story had reached its completion, Cue the snickering by the chorus. I'm sorry? A theater joke. I suppose what I'm searching for is a proper ending. Or the next chapter. Well, 
I know how I used to resolve this kind of thing back when I was the muse. Oh, is it time for a song? That, my dear, I can provide. <laughs> Feels uncertain, this thing you got me singing. I'm uncertain, that's where that's coming from. Sure, but you've been doing this so long. Why do you need coaching through a song? I'm uncertain. Just start it. With a statement, something strong And you can change it if it's wrong All of that time Making sound All of that time Waiting around All of that time All that sound You're basically cooked But have you properly looked? There's something you might have missed And that's that you now exist You're out of the bell jar You mortal Are you open to it? Are you open to it? To hunting a savage boar To opening a general store To drifting a sports car To writing a memoir To stalking a film star are you open to it? Yes, I agree, Grace. There's more to know. I need a reason to do it, though. I can't choose a random fate. That's not what I do. Every task must have some weight. Must be tough to chew. But search your soul, cause there's more to know. About control versus letting go There's more to know Many nights and many days Theseus obsessed Searching through the endless maze He lived that test Heracles took Hydra's heads Put the beast to rest Versus hailing Perseus Will stir the breast Long since they're gone Still the tales travel on Still the throng sings a song There's a pebble in my shoe everywhere I go. All the troubles I went through all that time ago. I'll never rest when there's more to know. Is that the quest and the more to know? To have so much resting on a single decision an entire life. I've been there. Big decisions are hard. The fates have always decided for me. Well, now you get to decide. I was walking with the ghouls, the longtime shadow man. Here it's very different rules. Life here has a plan. Devour each day, there's no more to know. There's no more to know. Life's never gray when you no, know that when you go, go, you go. So you take a journey under sea. Absolutely, yes. Be a sea anemone. You could, I guess. Jump a castle with a pole, light it in the sun. That's the mission, that's the, the goal. goal to not have one. The wild wind will fling you round Who knows where it puts me down A park seat A corn crop A whale's throat A dress shop A sailboat A cliff top I'm open to it 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 So, 
we feeling good? Look good? Hopefully even that's good, right? You know, for the first time in a long time, I think I really am. Ah, yes! I knew taking you to Grace was the right move. She is the queen of pep talks. I can't say I know what that means, but you know what? I'll learn. I'll learn everything I can about this new world. So, that's first on the plan. You picked a place to go? Anything you really want to see? Fresh fields lie before me, ready for my feet. Soon they'll tell a story in the lines there in the wheat. Bent down and broken, flattened and then Next day they're reaching up again Fresh fields lie before me, ready for my feet Soon they'll tell a story in the lines there in the wheat Soon they'll tell a story in the Lines there in the wheat. Well, fine, you win again. I miss Orpheus. He was fun. How about you, Caron? You ever wanted to go to the mortal world? I guess, uh, actually, we need a pretty big glamour. <sighs> you know, I used to be worried about you, me, Grace, and all the idols. Times were really looking rough, but now, now I think are going to be all right. Uh, another game? Oh, a different game. What, you worried I'm going to beat you this time? All right, well, well, where do you store your games? Where do you, where do you store anything on this boat? You know what? Don't tell me. I think, I think that I'm going to buy you a console. No, not that one. <laughs> that one's... that one's not a good one. But the one that I get you is going to be the superior one. You'll see. You'll love it. We're gonna have so many games and, you know, not even just single-player ones. They're ones that you can play together. And I'm gonna beat you. Then you'll get yours. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding.
I enjoyed that. It was a little short, but still entertaining. All in all, I liked it. Have a good day or night, everyone.